Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add more food and drink to your Daisy private community custom service. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the pre-packaged food. Um, we're going to be looking at like the canned goods and the dry goods for eating. And we're going to be looking at the canned drinks for drinking because as you probably know in fact when you watch this video it might already be live with 1.10 food starts to decay um so that you know things like apples and pears on the floors and um, when you when you kill an animal and you have the meat off them it'll start to rot so the value of canned foods which won't rot at all until you open them remember as soon as you open them that's when they start to degrade um will be very high i understand that the cereals won't degrade i think powdered milk and rice won't degrade either because it's dry goods but anyway we'll, we'll learn more about that so we're going to add more canned goods more dry goods and more canned drinks now i'm going to be using um my nitrado server as an example um, but how you access uh, access access your files will depend on what server provide you with you might use ftp if you do you, you know what you're doing already so let's go into the web interface of nitrado and if you're on a different type of provider what you're looking for is the file browser for your server because we need to find the types.xml file because that controls how things well how items spawn in the game how many of them spawn and we're looking for the daisy missions folder now when you're on pc you're gonna to have to dig down a little bit to find this go down a couple of levels but once you find it click on it and then within here you'll then see it might say Chernerus plus it might say enoch if it's a Livonia server it might say both but just click on the folder um of the uh, map that you're currently playing so enoch for Livonia, Chernerus plus for Chernerus. And once we're into here, we're looking for the DB folder, database folder. So click on that. And then within here, we're looking for the types.xml. This is the important file we're interested in. So we want to click on this little icon here in Nitrado, the download option. So we want to download that. And then once you've downloaded it, you want to make a copy of it. That way, if we make a mistake and you can't recover it, you've still got the original to go back to, to start again or to, to use. And then we want, we want to open the types.xml file in order to edit it, and you could use Notepad. I'd highly recommend Notepad++. It's a free option. It's a free um, download uh, for Windows. Works very well. It adds things like color coding to your files and does some, some more powerful things as well. But it's very good for what we need to do. So once we've got types XML, we can start diving in. And with with these things, it's uh, a lot of it is uh, just just being methodical and working through. So if we look at the canned goods, we've got canned bacon, baked beans, peaches, sardines, spaghetti, tuna, strawberry jam, and then dry goods we've got cereals, powdered milk, and rice. So we've just got to go through them nice and slowly and uh, increasing the amounts. So let's start off with the bacon. So if we do Control F for search, now I just happen to know that the name for bacon is tactical bacon. So if we look for tactical, there's tactical bacon can. Now you'll see tactical bacon can opened and you'll see this for lots of the tins. Don't put those into the game, especially with 1.10. If you do, once they spawn in, they'll start to rot and you don't want that. You just want unopened cans. So let's say we want to increase this to, there's only 10. Now tactical bacon is really good. It's full of energy. So it's a very good survival food. Let's say we increase that to 30. And we increase the minimum to 20. So the minimum is the point at which the game starts to respawn tactical bacon cans in. It will wait till it gets to 20 and it'll start respawning them in again uh, up to 30. Now looking at the flags, it's only counted on the map, which is a really good thing. So that means when, when people pick up a can of bacon and they put it in their backpack or it's in their hand or it's in their tent, the game doesn't count that towards the total. So it will spawn another one in. And its category is food and you'll find it on shelves now this is important its usage is only military so that means you'll only find tactical bacon cans in military places so one of the things we could do to make it a little bit easier to find is we could add another usage line so we copy and paste the usage now items within daisy um, normally have two sort of tags one that tells you what type of item it is clothes containers food weapons etc and then another tag that tells you where it should spawn in where it should be found 
um, and the tactical bacon is military, but how about we add tactical bacon, bacon somewhere else? Now, I like to have kind of a reason behind doing stuff, because you could just add it to anywhere, couldn't you? But how about this? How about we add it to police? Because, you know, the, in, in the zombie apocalypse, you could kind of imagine the police and the military working together, couldn't they? And maybe the military would issue some of their supplies to the police to try and keep... Um, keep everything under control so why don't we add police so there's police they just they just spell it as police don't they so let's add down here let's add police so now tactical bacon cans will be found on military bases but also in and around police stations which i think is pretty cool isn't it so we've done that one let's go back to the top and let's have a look what the next one would be so our next one is baked beans now i'm pretty sure we just look for beans there we go there we go baked beans can so there's 20 so let's increase that to 30 and put the minimum up to 25. ignore the quant min and quant max cans are always full when you open them if you use a can opener if you use something else like an axe or a crowbar or a screwdriver or a stone knife, depending on the appropriateness of the tool, you will lose more and more of what's in there. So a can opener is designed to open a can of baked beans, so you'll end up with 100% of what should be in there. If you use a crowbar to open a can of baked beans, then you're going to lose you know, like half of it because you know, you're smashing up the can as you try and open it. But you can't alter that here. Um, so it's classed as food, of course, so it's found on shelves in towns and villages, tier 1, tier 2, and 3. So, you know, that, that, that's where you'd, you'd find some more. Now, one thing you could do, if you wanted to, is you could add another usage name. Okay. And you could add the usage name. What Can you imagine which one I'm going to add? How about we added Coast. But the, the coast stuff is things like the little rowing boats that you find along the you know the uh, the beaches in Chernerus. And when you're a new spawn, it's difficult to survive, isn't it? So if you want to make it a little bit easier for your for your players to survive, you could add coast to this. So let's add coast. There we go. So there we go. So now baked bean cans. We've added more baked can, bean cans. Uh, did we add more? I can't remember. Did we? I can't remember. Let's put it up to 40, then we've definitely added some more. Put the minimum up to 35. Um, and now they're going to spawn along the coast as well. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, uh, let's go on to the next one. Peaches. Let's find the peaches. Control F. Peaches. There they are. Peaches can. Let's change that up to, say, 35, and the minimum up to 30. Always remember, as we're adding items to our DAISY server like this, to the to the loot economy, to the CLE, the central loot economy, we should be taking stuff away. So if we're adding 10 cans of peaches, we should take away 10 of something that we don't think we're going to use, like, I don't know, like the builder's helmets or the sneakers, things like that. Candle map, um, food, shelves, town. Now, it's now interesting about peaches. They're tier two and tier three, so they're found a little bit further inland um, than uh, than the other food. Sardines is next. Let's go up to the top. Control F. Sardine. Ooh, if I can spell it right. There we are. Sardine can. So there's normally 30 of these on a vanilla server. So let's increase that to 45. Let's put the minimum at, uh, I don't know, what do you reckon, 40? Um, they, again, they're only found on found in the map. And again, this one, again, it's found in villages only. But again, tier 2 and tier 3. Again, which is it's kind of, when you do these edits, you start to see behind the curtain of how Daisy works. You can start to see the matrix. And you go, oh, right, okay. So that's why I only find, I don't find sardine cans along the coast because they're they're in villages, but they're in villages that are further away from the coast, or in the case of Livonia, further south. 
Yeah, okay. So what we got next? A spaghetti. So let's find the spaghetti. Control F. Spaghetti. Can I spell it right? I can. There we go. Spaghetti can. So there's only 20 that spawn. Let's double that. Let's put 40 in there. Let's put the minimum at 30. So these are food, shells, villages, tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. Only so. Yep, yeah, that's cool. I agree with that. Tuna. Let's add some more tuna in. Tuna. Tuna can. So there should be 28. So again, we could increase this. Um, now, I'll tell you what's interesting as well. Let's say we put this up to 40. Sometimes when you're doing these as well, let's put the minimum up to 35. Sometimes when, when you're doing these and you're looking behind the curtain of how the loot economy works, sometimes you think, well, actually, I I know that there's certain places where I, have to, where I have trouble finding food that I don't think you should have trouble finding food. And that is in towns, isn't it? You know when you go to a big town, like like Chernerus, I mean, they're the cities really, or um, Electro, and you're going through like the, um, the places along the docks, you know, there's all the cafes and places like that, and you think this should be, this should have loads of food on. Well, we can see, well, there's no tuna cans spawn in towns. So let's add another usage copy paste and let's put in and we just just double check that it is there a town let's go back and let's add in town because as <laughs> as good a game as daisy is um there are definitely mistakes that you'll find in the types files and in the parts of the game. We think, well, maybe it should be like this, you know. And you can—that's the beauty of being able to mod Daisy you know, on console, on Xbox, on PlayStation, and on PC. You can do do simple mods like this um, to add them in. So that's good. So that's a tuna can. Uh, so what we got next? Strawberry jam. Let's go to the top. Control F, jam. Oh, okay, so jam doesn't come up. Now, this is interesting. This is an interesting situation now because um, I can't remember. Is it a preserve, is it? Nope. Um, it's in a pot, isn't it? So let's search for pot. Right, next. Nope. Um... What else could the jam be called? Let's just make sure I didn't make a silly spelling mistake. No, so it's definitely not under jam. Uh, could it be under preserve? No. Okay. So let's do a search for food. And let's look through the different foods. Apple, mushrooms, baked beans, can, baked bean can, steak, steak. Canteen, chicken breast meat, cow steak, deer steak, goat steak, pepper, human steak, mushroom, lard, mushroom, marmalade. There you go. So it's actually called marmalade. Although in the uh, description they call it jam, don't they? So let's take marmalade. <laughs> let's increase up to 50. Let's put the minimum up to 40. Now marmalade or jam is found in... Um, in all of the towns but again you could add villages so then you've now we're into the dry goods so we're into cereals so control F cereal there, so box cereal crunching I won't change it here but you get the idea so increase the normal increase the minimum and then you could add a different tag if you want you could put villages in there as well and then we've got milk powdered milk let's have a look there's powdered milk so we could put that one on then we've got rice and there's rice so again increase the nominal increase the minimum um, it's only counted on the map so that's good so it's nice and easy so then we're over to the drinks so let's have a look so what have we got not to call a spite pipsy 
so if we do a search put this to the top do control F for cola so there's soda can cola again there's only 30 so let's move that up to 50 um, and let's change the minimum to 40 again it's only counted in the map so it's food so it's found in all places where there would be food in tier one tier two and tier three so this, so cans of cup that's why you find that that's where you find things like cans of cola in the little where in the little glass houses the little um greenhouses as we would call them in the uk out you know in, in people's gardens you get the places where they they build the they, they grow the food inside the the buildings made of glass is it called a greenhouse in america and the rest of the world i don't know but some of them are made out of uh, polythene as well aren't they and you think why is there a can of cola on the ground here it doesn't make sense does it if you ask me but i think that's an this is one of the examples of where the soda can cola should have a usage of town and village um, so it's only found in those sorts of areas but you know we can leave that there um, and then we've got spite so if we do control f for spite there's soda can spite so we could increase that and then there is pipsy take the pipsy challenge there we go so we'd increase that and then we've got the kvass not sure what kvass is soda can kvass so again you could increase that and then uh, yeah that's it so that's all the tin drinks so there we go that my friends is how you increase the amounts what you'd want to do then is you want to save your file oh i'm in the wrong bit <laughs> when you're happy with it you want to save it and again i say again i repeat myself you should really be taking away stuff so if, if we've added 50 items of food we should be taking away 50 items that we're not using you know things like the the skirts or the dresses and things that we that we only ever use for rags get them out so that you've got a more of a balanced server now when you're happy with it you want to go over to somewhere like xmlvalidation.com and upload the file just to see that you haven't made any um, little spelling mistakes and when that validates you want to go back to your server you want to stop the server and you want to upload the new file um, and that will go over your top types.xml then you want to restart the server and at that point your increased levels of tinned drinks and tinned food will start to spawn in again so there we go hopefully that has been a useful video if it has hit like if you want to see more of the same hit subscribe and i'll uh, well i'll see you again soon